The Mediterranean salt flat is a very large salt flat or salt pan covering almost the entirety of the Mediterranean basin which evaporated after becoming landlocked due to continental drift and falling sea levels and 5 million ate a number of islands, the highlands of what were once true islands. The salt flottas do limestone karst plate house most life in the region is to be found on these islands due to the inhospitable conditions on the salt flat itself. Though there are a few hypersaline lakes on the flat the water is far too salty to support fish or complex life and would be fatal if ingested all that lives in these lakes are algae and bacteria which can feed on the salty chemical soupon the shores support thick clouds of brine flies which feed on the algae and bacteria little life exists on the surface of the salt flat itself though the salt loving bacteria does thrive the restaining the surface red in places one of the few animals to exist out on the salt is a lizard the cryptile which is able to effectively camouflage Camouflage its white body against the salt. The scrofas are descended from the wild boar, which ranged across Europe in the human era, being highly adaptable generalist animals seeding a wide variety of different foods. They were well poised to adapt to the rapid changes brought on by the closing of the Strait of Gibraltar and trapped on the karst plate house became smaller with more elongated bonus harper hooves and longer snouts. Scrofas are similar physiologically to their ancestors but are smaller, only half the height of the bulkier wild boar, and more lightly built their legs are thin and agile with elongated bones and delicate pointed hoovist tips of which they walk on giving them a stiff-legged gait although it looks unusual this is an efficient way of moving over the car stallowing them to prance agilely across the clint slabs and over grikes their flexible snout stipped with long lips are longer than those of wild boars whereand are essentially short trunks. Like their ancestors scrofas are generalist omnivores which will eat almost anything. K time equals zero material, but they will also scavenge carrion and eggs, and even kill small, slow-moving animals. Their trunks are particularly useful for searching for food down grikes, wider examples of which they will enter in search of food. Scrofas are mainly social animals which live in small family herds, led by a pair of dominant females and composed mainly of their offspring. The only males in the herd are the juveniles, which leave upon reaching sexual maturity. Adult males are aggressive and solitary, hunting and foraging on their own, mating with the dominant female leaders of herds, and fighting other lone males for these mating privileges. Scrofflets are born in the late spring, in litters of between three and six, and are protected by other members of the herd. During foraging, two or three scrofas will always be acting as sentries, looking out for predators. As scrofas live in in an environment where food is scarce, almost anything is on the menu for them, including cryptile eggs laid in grikes, which scrofas can reach down using their long snouts. They may also kill smaller or slower animals they encounter on the karst. Adult scrofas, especially the aggressive boars, are too large to be harmed by any predators on the karst, but scrofflets that stray from their herd may be preyed on by birds of prey and grikens. Scrofa herds are safer on the edge of the karst, near the salt pan, but there is little food there, the most fertile regions on the karst are the uplands, the home of the grikin. Down in a narrow grike, this slim, agile creature can wind from side to side, following the tortuous route of the chasm. Now and again the grikin will stop and poke its head out of a grike, keeping an eye on a scrofa herd. The grikin is a species of large predatory mustelid endemic to the Mediterranean salt flat of 5 million AD. It evolved from the pine marten, martes martes, and lives in the grikes, crevices and fissures which separate clint slabs, of the karst plateaus and rocky mountains dotting the salt pan. The ancestor of the grikin was the pine marten, martes martes, and, unlike many other mammals of 5 million AD, it has changed quite a bit compared to its ancestor. The arboreal pine martens had stocky, powerful legs for leaping and a long tail for maintaining balance in the trees. The grikin, living in rocky crevices, needs neither of these, and has evolved a shorter tail and longer legs. However, its general body plan and head is similar to its ancestor, though its body is more elongated. In a case of minor convergent evolution, the grikin, like the giant mustelid called the snowstalker, has evolved very long fangs, which might be called saber teeth though they are not as long as the snowstalkers. The grikin is about 7 to 8 or 20 centimeters tall at the shoulder, and is much longer. It is a streamlined animal with a slim body and a triangular head, with long and slim limbs to help it squeeze through narrow cracks, and a short tail. It also has a pair of long, dagger-like canine teeth which reach down past its lower jaw. 
The fur of its face is crossed by a thick black stripe which camouflage its eyes, and its body is also striped to break up its contours and disguise it amongst the vegetation. Living on the karst plateaus of the Mediterranean salt flat, Grykans spend most of their lives in grikes or crevices separating the clints in the uplands of the plateaus, as well as the systems of subterranean caverns which lie below the karst. When stalking prey, they hide themselves within the grikes, popping their heads out from time to time to keep an eye on their quarry, before leaping from the fissure and pouncing. To kill its prey, the grykan punctures the throat with its saber teeth, tearing out the windpipe. To avoid being attacked whilst feeding, it may throw its dead prey down into the grikes and caves. The grykan is called the worst enemy of the scrofa, as it will hunt and kill scroflets which wander too far from the herd. However, adult scrofas are too large and dangerous for the grykan to attack, and the aggressive boars will in fact charge at the grykans. It will also attack smaller prey such as cryptiles, which freak. Uitly enter grikes to lay their eggs in soil. The eggs themselves are laid in grikes which are far too narrow for the grykan to access. After hunting, the cryptile's pale coloring allows it to fade back into the white of the salt flats. So positioned, the animal is practically invisible. The cryptile or cryptile lizard is a species of agamid lizard endemic to the Mediterranean salt flat of 5 million AD. It is one of the only vertebrate animals which can survive on the salt pan itself, as opposed to the karst plateaus dotting the region. Lizards are generally adaptable, capable of surviving in a wide diversification on environments including harsh, dry deserts. With the closure of the Mediterranean Sea following the collision of Europe and Africa, agamids were already ready to adapt. To cope with the challenges presented by life out on the salt flats, lizards evolved streamlined bodies and prominent frills, gradually evolving into the cryptile. The cryptile generally maintains its resemblance to its agamid ancestors and is an example of parallel evolution, in this case with the frill-necked lizard. The cryptile's body and limbs have evolved to be more slender and elongated, in order to cover large distances while sprinting out on the salt flats, its most prominent adaptation being its bizarre, colorful frill developed from loose skin around the neck. During courtship males will compete, showing off their vivid crests, which are used to intimidate rivals and attract potential mates. These crests may also serve in regulating and maintaining the cryptile's internal temperature, by increasing the surface area to internal volume ratio. Cryptile frills are often used to intimidate other individuals and impress mates. An example of this would be during courtship where males will compete, displaying an array of color, showing of their crests. The female will invite the best-looking male to follow her in a courtship dash across the salt flat. If the male can keep up with her, the two can then mate. While cryptiles display exceptional adaptations for life on the flat, out on the limestone karst plateaus, the lizards must be wary, as they are vulnerable to predation from predators such as the grykin. Cryptiles are specially adapted to feed on brine flies, from which they receive all their nourishment, including moisture. Though their only predators on the salt are birds of prey, which cryptiles can camouflage themselves against, the salty environment means that female cryptiles cannot lay their eggs on the flat, where the salt would drain them of moisture, killing them. For this, she must travel to the karst plateaus and lay them in the soil down a safe grike, narrow enough to prevent access by a grikin. Nevertheless, the eggs may be eaten by scrofas which shove their trunks down the grikes or even enter the grikes themselves, and the mother cryptile herself as a prey item for the grikin.